Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome once again to the house of the Lord. This morning we are going to focus on the body of Christ and his, his church and the place that each of us has within it. For our worship this morning, we'll be following the common service, beginning on page 15 in the hymnal. We join in singing our first hymn, 528, Christ is our cornerstone. Mm -hmm. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. forgiveness, let us praise the Lord. First lesson for this morning is taken from the Old Testament prophet Isaiah chapter 61, verses 1 to 6. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and to provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations, Aliens will shepherd your flocks, foreigners will work your fields and vineyards, and you will be called priests of the Lord. You will be named ministers of our God. You will feed on the wealth of the nations, and in their riches you will boast. This is God's word. We join now singing together Psalm 19, with it on page 7 in the
gospel lesson yet to come speak of Jesus coming into this world to show his glory. Coming as a man with a human body to show the mercy and the love of God. Our epistle lesson for this morning, which will also serve as our sermon text, is one in which he shows that we, his body, continue to show his glory in, in the roles that we play in the church and in one another's lives. 1 Corinthians 12. The body is a unit, though it is made up of many parts. And though all its parts are many, they form one body. So it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one spirit into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slave or free. And we were all given this one spirit to drink. Now, the body is not made up of one part, but of many. If the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body. It would not for that reason cease to be part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body. It would not for that reason cease to be part of the body. The whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? The whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has arranged the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. This is God's word. We continue with the verse of the day taken from Matthew chapter 4, verse 23. Hallelujah. Jesus went throughout Galilee teaching and preaching and healing every disease. Hallelujah. to be the fulfillment of the prophet, God come, in, God come into this world. I invite you to rise for the reading of the gospel. Our gospel is taken from Luke chapter 4, verses 14 to 21. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and news about him spread through the whole countryside. He taught in their synagogues, and everyone praised him. He went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And on the Sabbath day, he went into the synagogue, as was his custom, and he stood up to read. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. Unrolling it, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to release the oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him, and he began by saying to them, Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. This is the gospel of our Lord. our Christian faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. We continue with our next hymn, 536, Lord Jesus Christ, the Church's Head, version 1 and 2. 